Okay, welcome to my build video. <clears throat> I've now come outside, it's purely because of the size of the aircraft. Um, I haven't got room in the house to build it, or put it together. Um, so far I've built the uh, left, or installed the left wing and left horizontal stabiliser, as you can see, and this is um, held at the wings held in place here, and there, that's an M6 10 mil bolt as I come round now you can see the two silver um, the like screw bolts really it's a screw type thread but with a hexagonal top one there's a spar through this that comes right up to the tip on each horizontal stabiliser ok so let's install the wing the right wing. I'll try to do this even with the camera in my hand. So I've already seated it onto the uh, carbon spars. As you can tell probably from the strain in my voice it's it is a relatively tight fit. You could hear then the multi-pin connections for the electronics connecting and that's it basically um, the wings now just require the bolts dropping in and tightening up with an allen key. Okay let's have a look now at the uh, horizontal stabiliser installation. As you can see there's a long spar, it does carbon spar, it does go all the way through to the wing tip about here. So. Uh, no chance of this folding or anything and then again in the plastic clips as you'll see it goes in male to female and then it's just a case of a gentle push home we'll just get the uh, one of the bolts out to uh, show how we fasten this on this is an actual bolt the hexagonal head and this one is an M4 at 10 mils long again they're being fastened down into um, captive nuts it's not just into plastic so very very secure hexagonal uh, screwdriver ball headed screwdriver Okay, lastly, lastly we're going to look at the um, installation of the vertical stabiliser. As you can see there's two holes and the female connector here, or the servo connector. And this is just a case for taking the fin, lining the pegs up and pushing home. Then there are four screws, two from each side, to hold this in place. Going with hexagonal heads, and basically that's it for the construction. Very easy to put together at the field. Okay, let's have a look at the uh, final piece to put on, and this is the pitot tube very very well made I've got another L39 from another manufacturer and this just pushes into place but as you can see you've literally got to thread this in and won't be easy to lose so that's the uh, model put together very very big as you can see sorry about that it's a nice big open spaces for lipos and flight packs. Very, very nicely constructed. And overall very happy. The next stage is to uh, just add the uh, decals now that I would like on it. 
ones that came with the kit are very nice whether I use it all or not will be another thing but thank you for watching